Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how to etch glass and how to use your Cricut machine to do that. I made this for my husband for Father's Day. These always make for great gifts. I'm going to click on text and I found a font off of defont.com that looked like a Star Wars font. And let me find it here. It is SF Distant Galaxy. So I'm gonna select that. I'm going to type in best dad in the galaxy. After that, I'm going to go up to alignment and I want to center these words together. So I will hit center. Then Cricut Design Space always has these big spaces in between the words. So I am going to go over to line space and I am going to decrease that just to bring it a little closer together. Then I'm just going to go over to letter space and I am just going to move the letters just a little bit closer together as well. I like how that looks so I'm going to click on make it. I also like to move this down just a little bit. This is going to be kind of like a stencil so I want some vinyl around the edges of it. So I'll move it down a little then I'll click on continue. I have my dial set to vinyl and then I will show you how I make this. The vinyl I'm using for the glass etching is Oracle 651. This acts like a stencil so it doesn't matter what color you use to cut it out. I take the vinyl off the mat and weed out my design. You want to weed out the actual design. If you're doing regular adhesive vinyl projects, this is the part you would normally keep. I bought this cup at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is my favorite place to look for glassware. I'm using rubbing alcohol to clean off the glass. The etching will work a lot better with a clean surface. If you touch the glass, the oil from your fingerprints can prevent the etching from working well. I always pick up the glass by putting my hand inside of it. I grab my transfer tape and place it over my design. Sometimes it takes some burnishing with the scraper tool to get the vinyl to apply to the transfer tape. I place my vinyl on the glass and take off the transfer tape. I use my scraper tool to press it down really good and once again you don't want to press it down with your fingers because you don't want to touch the glass. Also you can see that there are some bubbles in the vinyl and that is fine since it is not around my design. I put on some gloves before I use the etching cream. I work in the medical field so when these gloves expire I am able to take them instead of them just throwing them away. I'm using Armor Etch. You can find this at Hobby Lobby. When using this product, you need to be extremely careful. Always wear gloves and protective eyewear and use in a well-ventilated area. This stuff makes me a little nervous, so I'm always extremely cautious when using it. You want to shake it up and stir it really good before using it. You want to use just a regular paintbrush for this. I pick up the cream onto the brush and place it on the glass. You want to apply a lot onto it. It's better to have more on here to get the best outcome. I get more of the cream and I brush it in all different directions. That's the key to getting a good result. I spent around five minutes just adding more cream and brushing it on. I also like to brush it all in one direction first and then switch it to another direction. After I brush that on for a good 5 minutes, then I let it sit for 10 minutes. This has sat for 10 minutes, so the next thing I do is scrape off the armor etch with my scraping tool. You can reuse this, so I put it back in the bottle. 
After that, I just wash the cup off in the sink with water. I keep my gloves on for this and wash over the vinyl first. Then I take the vinyl off and throw it away and wash it down extremely well so none of the cream is left. When you are washing it, the design will disappear for a minute, so don't panic. It's still there, but once it dries, you'll be able to see it again. And this is my favorite part is being able to see how it turns out. I also washed off my scraper and brush really well. Here's how it turned out. You need to be very careful with this stuff, but it does turn out really neat. This is also permanent, so it is dishwasher safe. I hope you enjoyed my video. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and have a great day.